The European Grand Prix road racing trail is two-wheel sport at its most refined. Exotic machines with super powerful multi-cylinder engines producing speeds of up to 180 miles an hour, while riders must cope with tracks that are often merely public roads closed for the day's racing. Racing on tracks such as this is life on a knife edge. At places like the Isle of Man, Opatir in Yugoslavia, or Belgium's Spa Francorchamps, there's hardly any room for error. A rider can pay dearly for a mistake. Small wonder then that the modern Grand Prix motorcycle racer is a calculating man who relies more on skill and precision than simply raw courage. Into this world comes a new face in 1977, a face hardly cast in the hero mould. Young American star Steve Baker, in his first season of Grand Prix racing, riding works Yamahas in the Formula 750 and 500cc World Championships. Don't let that pleasant schoolboy face and mild manner fool you. Steve's appearance belies a ferocious riding talent. In 1976, he won just about every major race in the USA, dominated the British Transatlantic Trophy Series, became Canadian champion, and won such classics as the Imola 200 and the Race of the Year. The European grind is far removed from American-style racing, but Steve is under no illusions about the differences he'll be facing. Well, mainly the difference is there isn't one every weekend in the States. And that's that's the tough thing. You gotta you gotta be right there every weekend and be in top shape and top form, and learn all these new racetracks real quick. It gets to be quite hectic. For instance, last year there was only I think three or four road races all summer long. The only thing that kept me busy was coming to Europe for a few races and racing in Canada. Mainly the the natural street circuits are different. Also, short practice times don't help if you've just been at a track for the first time. It just depends on the circuit if you have a a long circuit, it's quite difficult to learn. You, you can learn where to go, but you can't go quickly. These street circuits require different compounds of tires. And right about now, it's <laughs> getting so sick of, of picking tires and things like that, because it's always always different. Every racetrack's different, uh, let alone different make, but different compounds and things like that. 